Hey guys, it's Retro Gaming now, <clears throat> and we are back in Eater Gira, or sorry, Eater Chemo, playing Mr. Complete Chronicles. So um, we never actually finished exploring this age, and this is being a little bit laggy right now. Um, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna shoot. Give me a sec. This is pretty slow. There we go. Go through and uh, go through the entire age again because I'm not sure what journey clause I've hit and what I haven't. So there's one there. Um, I know we at least got to the brain trees, so we could probably keep going at least till there. There's our borrow door right there. Can we climb up here? Doesn't look like it. Um, sorry, not much to say here. We've already seen most of this. Just those weird bug things. Maybe we can get a pretty, see if we can get a good look at them. They don't look, uh, pleasant. <laughs> it's like he's gonna drop down on me. That's one nice thing about the real time 3D is that they can do something like that. Put those bug things up. Here we've got this little pedestal has the Yisha symbol on it. I should point that out. Here's our spore things. My uh, nose gets stuffy just looking at them. I wonder if there should be a journey cloth hopefully around here. Don't know where. Maybe it's back here. Another uh, one of these little gazebos. There certainly were a lot of them. Here's the journey cloth. Let's get that. Alright, three more to go. Looks like we can climb up here, maybe. Yeah. So here we've got some more glyphs. And here we've got a journal. This is the Sam's journal that um, he said was missing. So um, we've got another one of these to read, unfortunately. So uh, let me go back to the beginning. And we can read straight through this. Alright, so this is the missing journal from Sam, I think. Showmat story, so let's go ahead and read this. The story of Showmat, taken from the book of 40... The book 43C, we have yet to name it. Nick, who wrote it. At the age of 121, Shomet had resided in his palace of the kings for 20 years. Though the palace had taken 45 years to construct and new additions had been added every year, Shomet was still not pleased with all that surrounded him. His palace was larger than any structure in the city, and the gardens of his palace were more beautiful than any other living plants that the people had ever known. But Shomet demanded more from those who created his home and his gardens. Shomet sent messengers demanding that Lemash, the head, this word seems to define some kind of leader, of the servants, although they never define them as servants, have to ask Dr. Watson, of his palace to come to his gardens immediately. And Lemash obeyed. Yes, my king, what is it that you require of me? Do you see these bulbs of orange and leaves of brown that surround me? Of course, my king, they are unlike any that dwell in this cavern. Do you see the intricate stone that surrounds me? asked Shomet. Of course, there's none like them in the cavern. And Shomat suddenly became angry, cursing at his servants, not really servants, but he'll have to do, and screaming at those in his presence. Wh who do you think that I am? Do you think that I have never used the books to see the beauty that lies outside the cavern? I have written these books myself, even while you have seen me trained by the Grand Master, and yet you act as though I should be pleased with the beauty that now surrounds me. Beauty that comes only from this cavern, this cavern of no light, no warmth, and no color? Do you think stone and darkness are all that I require? Who do you think that I am? My king, what is it that you ask of me? Bring me the Grand Master Kinry. Together you will work on a writing, in a work in a writing sense, with him and create for me some real beauty. Roaring water, colors beyond imagination. Living creations, not stone. These are the gardens that I demand. Now go and bring them to me. So Lemash went to Kinry, Grand Master of the 
guild of writers, and together they created an age with beauty that was beyond that which any man had ever seen before. And together they brought their king to the age, eight months, these are dunny months, after his request had been made. Shomet was pleased with all that he saw, broad leaves of green and yellow, flowers of every color, and roaring waters of blue and turquoise like the most colorful stones of Dunny. And he promoted Lee Mash, as he was already head, I'm not sure of this promotion, but the word is fairly clear, and made Kenry his most prized grandmaster in all of Dunny. Shomet spent every day on his new age and asked for more of them, and he asked his architects to provide structures on these ages. And while this happened, Shomet's brothers continued to grow more jealous and their anger turned to rage. They had not been invited to live in the palace of their brother and now, though multitudes of common citizens were invited to the gardens of Shomat, never once were they allowed to visit, and their hearts burned toward their king and brother. So it was that Shomat was sitting alone in his garden age when two creatures approached him. Though they resembled men, they walked on their arms and legs and moved quickly. Shomat was frightened upon seeing the creatures and immediately called for his guards. The creatures ran from the guards, but Shomat offered his ordered his guards to follow them, and the guards obeyed. It was not until the next day that they returned. They claimed they had seen a city with hundreds of these creatures living in it, conversing with one another, and organizing armies. These armies lived inside the Garden Age of Shomet, and Shomet was very afraid. Shomet ordered the man who had seen the village to be put in prison, not sure if it book or physical prison, for what they saw. Yeah, that about sums up uh, his personality right there. Let's keep going. And he called his most trusted advisor, Lemash, to his residence in the city. Upon hearing of the creatures and their organization, Lemash too was frightened. We have no choice but to burn the book, Lemash recommended. You know the sage is not ours, and if it is already inhabited, you know the rules of writing in our books and our people. But Shomat's heart was not moved by the words of Lemash, and he grew more angry and enraged. The world was created by me for me. If there are others who exist, they will have to be killed. It is done now. So Shomat ordered for his brothers to be brought into the palace, and he informed them of his dilemma. Shomat asked his brothers if they would kill those who lived in his garden ages, and he bribed them with talk of power and authority. And so they agreed, even though they hated their brother. And the brothers of Shomat traveled to the age, and went to the creatures to destroy them. But in talking with the creatures, they became convinced that the creatures should not be killed, but instead they should be used to destroy their brother. And so they devised a plan to kill their brother the king. When Shomat, while Shomat waited in his palace at the city... His brothers appeared to him. We have finished, they announced. The creatures are all dead. Shomat was pleased to hear such words from his brother, and on the outside he showed love to them. My brothers, I have done much wrong to you. There have been many times that I have not treated you like those who, even those who work in my palace. And I am sorry for these actions. But today you have proven that you do not hold anger like I do. You are better than me. You have shown me favor, and I ask that you accept what I have to offer you. Please accept this gift. And Shomet gave his brothers a linking book. Its pages were filled with descriptions of beauty and life, like Shomet's own garden age. And it will be kept here in this palace where you will live now. Filled with pleasure and forgetting their hate for Shomet, his brothers went to the age quickly. And it was there they died, thinking they had fooled their brother. Shomet burned the book in his own fire, forever erasing his brothers and their deceit from his mind. Okay, so real quick, not smart by the brothers. You always bring a linking book with you. Right, so so because because Shomat burned the book, we can assume it wasn't probably wasn't a death age, like a age you spawn in fire or something. Because, well, yeah, I don't. That's a good question. I'm not sure why he didn't. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure exactly why this is happening, or why they didn't bring a book. But and Shomat ordered Grandmaster to change his garden age so that those who lived there would die. And Kenry obeyed the king, even though he knew it was wrong, and his life was filled with turmoil until he died. But Shomat, though he did what was wrong, continued to live and pursue all that he wanted. The story continues, but it seemed a good point to stop. I'd like to go over this a few more times with some better translators, maybe even Dr. Watson. I filled in a lot of words as best as I could for now. So that's a pretty... F I kind of like... I really like that, uh... sort of parable thing. About Shomat. So, recent, my computer actually crashed on the previous run of this, so I'm not entirely sure which journey clause I have and which ones I don't, so I'm just going to go straight through, and if I missed one, I'm, I'm truly sorry, but, you know, with these two ages, they're pretty easy to find the whole time. So, when I hit this one, I might have all seven, or, 
take the other one. Anyway, here we've got our book back to Eater. Shoot, Gira. Um, I'm just gonna run back straight through and just just go through the uh, journey clause again because I'm I'm really sorry for this. Uh, but you know, honestly, they're not too difficult to find in this age. So let's see. I don't think there was one here. There's more of those bug things. Is there one back here? No. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I think we I think we got the one over here. There was one on a sort of like ban like banister or something that was easy to miss. This one up here. All right, there we go. So that's um, five of them there. I don't know if I pointed out these glyphs. This glyph is in especially is very interesting, but I can't tell you why because it would spoil some things future or later on. But what I think I'm going to... I'm actually... I want to kind of want to climb up this see what's up there. What I think I'm going to do later is maybe come back to this age and see if I can go through all the glyphs one by one. Oh no, I can't go up there. Because they'll make... they will make more sense. Some of them will make more sense once we finish the game. And just looking at them now, it's hard. Like it doesn't give you any information. So... We have found all the journey claws that we ha can right now. And, um, not sure what else there is to do, honestly. The, uh, there's but one place we have yet to go, which is that dark cavern in Idrigira. So, since we know that these, uh, firefly things follow us around, maybe we could see if they actually would light up a cave. So we don't have much other option right now. So the things that these, as you already know, that these um, fireflies don't like is one, jumping. We can't jump. Well, we can jump once. We'll lose half of them if we jump once, and then the second time we jump, we'll be done. And they also dislike water, so walking through water, the rain can't have it. And yes, it does light up the cavern. That's good. And finally, they dislike running. So we can't sprint and we lose all of them. And where they go, I don't know. But So we have to try and time it right with these storms. I think we're good. There was a storm while we were while we were um, reading the, the parable. So we're going to have to see if these things link with us. Hopefully they do. And thankfully this book looks like it links us back to the waterfall, which is where we need to go. So let's head on out. And indeed they do. You can see it's sort of glowing. Everything. So what we need to do is make it to the cave with one jump. And we can't step in water, so I think this here is going to be our jump. So you see we lose a lot of them. We've still got a couple. So let's head on over around the waterfall. And see if we can get in. And it looks like we're going to need a second jump, and when we do that, we lose all of them. So I wonder if there's a way we can eliminate one of those jumps. Well, we have this basket here. We can do that. I'm going to put the basket over here and see if we can set it up in a way where we can just walk straight, straight across it without jumping. up here. Let's see if this works. We might have to try the other side. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to count that. We're going to I'm going to put it on the other side actually just to be safe. Yeah. You I I've already told you my feelings on these um puzzles where you have to push things around. It's just a little cumbersome. But you know, this is this uh, this firefly puzzle is actually one of my favorite puzzles because I think it makes really good use of the three-dimensional, like the real-time aspect of the game. So let's put it 
I'm gonna shift it back over a little bit. Here. There we go. Now we should just be able to walk straight across. Ooh, slowing down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. We might have to try it a couple times. So now let's head back to um, Chemo and grab some more fireflies. Alright, in the future we may want to use journey cloths. I'm going to set up, I think there's a journey cloth near the brain trees because we may, might have to come back a couple times. Try again until we get it right. And it's kind of, you know, a pain to walk through. So was this the Garden Age of Showmat? Probably not, is my guess. Because it's not very vibrant. But I don't know. I'm not sure if we I'm not sure if it, we do ever know. Also it's a very small age. Come on. Get some. There we go. So we need to figure out... Yeah, we Basically, we've just got to be watching this guy. If it starts to get dark, we got to get underneath something so these things don't get wet. But it looks like we're good right now, so let's just go ahead and head on over. Yeah, because you know, also we don't need much light for that cave over there, so I think we'll be, I think we'll be able to make it. All right, we're good. Not raining. <laughs> Excuse me. Walking is just so slow in this game. I mean, it's really not that slow, honestly. Like in real life, this is about the speed you move. But it's just, it's not like Riven where you can just click really, really fast and just power through. But at least this linking book links us to a good spot. Alright, so let's see if we can uh, do this. Just line up, walk straight across. I think I did it, yep. I think I may have stepped in the water, but it doesn't look like it registered it. So now we're good, we get one jump. And we've done it. Still got a couple, so let's head on into this cavern. <laughs> Part of me is tempted to jump in this cavern to see where they all go, but I can't do that. Because <laughs> then we have to do it all over again. Alright, we got, looks like a, another one of these things here. There we go. So while we've still got fireflies, let's just keep heading up. Alright, so now we're on this little ridge up here. We still need two journey claws. And we're going to have to jump once here. Or else we'll lose our fireflies, so that's okay. Or we have already lost our fireflies. And... Well, let's see what's up here. Am I going to fall down if I step on this? No, I can't go up there either. At least we can head back down here because of this. Was there a journey cloth in here? Uh, no, but there's a door. Looks like I can see enough to go in. Another one of these maintainer symbols. So we're back behind the waterfall. Up here. Let's walk around. So here we are. Aha, we got some baskets. That's exactly what we needed, actually, because 
we need to eliminate a jump. So we're going to push some of these off. Let's just go ahead and push them all off. No, but I think that is all of them. Is there a torch in here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so let's jump off, set up our baskets. And, oh, almost died there. <laughs> Except you can't die. So we're going to set up our baskets and um, go get some more fireflies. So need a, I might see if I can put a couple of them here. A grab key would have been really nice in this game, honestly. But so, uh, line them up. Alright, let's see if we can do that without jumping. Alright, looks like we're good. Um, I'm always, I'm just afraid this isn't going to work, because the thing is, you don't get a second chance. Like, you have to start all over if it doesn't. So, I'm just gonna, there we go, that looks good there. Alright, so back to go get some more fireflies. Maybe we'll take the relto option, maybe that's faster. Use journey cloth. Green book. And see where this pops us. I'm not sure. Up here. So, Alright, so we're right next to the brain trees. We did that right. So let's go grab some fireflies. We have some? I don't think so. Alright, there we go. I don't have very many. Yeah. I'm just gonna go get more. I think I don't know. I'm not I think you get the same amount each time, but it just didn't look like very many to me. You guys. There we go. Yeah, I guess you get the alright. Let's just set on back to chemo. <laughs> I have my notes here, and I have to keep checking down to see if it's Gira or Chemo. Actually, we're heading back to Gira. Made that mistake again. And I can't think of an easy way to remember it. Maybe I'll just remember G is not Garden. Alright. Slowly moving. One of the things I think that's really cool about this game, I'm going to bring this up again once we get to the final age, but the way that they... The game looks pretty nice. I think it, obviously, it was made several years ago, like 2005, I want to say. Actually, let me check on that really quick. Once we link out, I'm going to check and see exactly when it was made. Two thousand three. All right, so it's older than I thought, but it still looks good. It's not. It doesn't look bad. I'm just. I mean, it, obviously, it's not modern. Come on. But you know, the, and the the way they do that, I was reading about this. They did a very. They like to be. They're minimalistic. They're not like Riven had a lot of huge tons and tons of polygons. But this one, this game, they, they couldn't afford to do that. After all, this was 2003. And so they do this minimalistic thing, minimalistic style, where it's still powerful looking, but not, not overwhelmingly difficult to render. I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get to a different age. So we don't want to go, want to go this way, because we still have a jump left. All right. So you know, jump here. All 
Alright, we lost some of them, but we still got several. And into the cave. Some more baskets. Torch, yes. There we go. There's a journey cloth. Seven, eight, seven, six, six, yeah. Alright, so that was supposed to be our seventh journey cloth. Apparently, we've missed one. Unfortunately. And I can't, I'm not entirely sure what that is. We're gonna have to go through them all again. Or most of them. I hope it's on, um, chemo. And I, th I, have, a, I have this feeling it might be, because it's easy to miss them. I mean, you've got to actively look for them. And they're not hard to find. It's just they're not painfully obvious. So we're just going to run through all of them now. Since we've got the difficult one, which was that one up there, in the cave. Let's just get, run through these again. Like I said before, the, um... The, um... Firefly... Firefly, uh puzzle is actually one of my favorites in this game. I think it does a really good job of taking advantage of, you know, just the 3D engine. And I, so it's one of those puzzles that you couldn't have done in Riven. Honestly not. And, okay, it's still six. I don't know, it's just it's just really cool. I, li I like the way that they, they, they implemented that. So the one back here, I think there might be bamboo looking things. There it is. This might be the one that we missed. There we go. So now let's head over to the door which we know is around here somewhere. There it is. Alright. Let's go return another pillar. Here you should talk. Have no idea what's going on. Noise. I don't know what that noise is. And here we go. You return again. Indeed. Return to hear more. Return for a third pillar. It's an interesting cycle, this coming and going, giving and taking. Returning is what you must do. For you have torn in half the very being of one of the least. You have heard their pain. Don't falter. Many stories were there for the Dene to learn from, but they didn't hear them. The ancient tales of Tuit's ocean, or of course, the story of King Shomat and his brothers, which even speaks of gardens and death. But no one truly listened. The garden ages of the proud are beautiful, but they are built on the backs of the least. The ages like Kimo and Gira are a sampling of the playthings of Dene. With disregard, the least were stripped from their homes. The lives in those ages were consumed, and the Dene gave nothing back. And whatever is not given back, will be taken. The people of Dene didn't return easily. They only would take until all was taken from them in the Great Returning, the fall that destroyed them. Dene fell only a few hundred years ago. All of it was removed. And my journey was similar. I could write things that no Denis had ever dreamed of. My writing smashed barriers held as absolutes for millennia. I could change things. I could move things. I could control things. I learned beyond my parents. I learned beyond all. I wrote ages against any challengers, masters of the art, and they were beaten. I took all that I could hold. Only death can conquer pride so strong. For the Dene and for Yusha, it was death that moved me to return. All died. All but the least. The unproud. The Bahro considered themselves as dead already. And so they continued to watch Dene, always ready to give more away. 
and now they will return. All right, so we're learning a little bit more. First of all, she did confirm that Kimo was indeed a Garden Age, probably not the one that Shomet demanded be created, but it was an age. Garden Age, well, we already knew that. Also, Yisha talked about how she was able to bend the rules of writing, write things that no Dunny had ever dreamed of. And we've already seen that with Relto and stuff like that. In fact, let me just, I think we may have missed a Relto page. Maybe not. Also, real quick, we can't get out. We can't link to Relto from here, which is something I forgot to point out. Um, um, and then the Baro, the least. So, we still don't quite know who they are, but we do know that Dunny mistreated them. Or we can infer that. But it's still very unclear as to what exactly they are or what they do. So let's go ahead and return this pillar. And, um, head on down. And there we go, we've got our third pillar in place. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead, head back and get the Relto page. Since we haven't gotten that. And we might as well. It's in Gira. Chemo. Ah, oh, man, I hate these two names. Alright, um, I don't remember exactly where it is, but I think it's, I think we should be able to find it if we're looking for it. I think it's on top of something, if I remember right. Oh look, I'm not there. Yay, glitches! <laughs> Alright. Linked into the void. So... Let's look around for it. I believe it's a jumping puzzle. Yes, I know. So... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I have not been great at these in the past. But, you know, let's keep looking around. I don't... Uh, it's on top of something. I know that much. Maybe up here. I wonder if it's on top of this thing. Maybe I'll see if I can head up here and get a better view. I think it's... Yeah, there it is. Whew. Yep, it's definitely a jumping puzzle. So how should we get up there? I'm not seeing a good entry point on this side. These things... Can I, like, do something with these? No? Alright. So I think what I'm going to have to do is jump on... this, maybe? Um, maybe if I jump straight out here. Nope. Um, great. Uh, oh, I wonder if I have to go... Can I get up here? Is there a way to get up there? Maybe jump across? Let's see, uh, doesn't look like it. Alright. See, see, this is where they should have put it, right there. Okay, that's a better spot for it. But no, we gotta figure out how to jump up here, so. I may actually have to look this one up. I haven't really been doing that, but this is tough, this... Like, am I supposed to land on one of these puffer things? Because that's not easy to do. Alright, I'll be right back. 
Alright, so I was able to jump from there. I just did a running jump to here. How am I going to make this? Do I have to time this? Ooh, I wonder. This is not... Uh, ah, just... Alright. Um... At least I'll make this jump show you how to do it. Shoot. I hate this. Um Yeah, that's where the relto page is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and get this right now, alright? It's it's it takes some time. It's not easy. Maybe I could just cheat it in later, but no, I can't do that. Alright, anyway, retro gaming now. That was uh the third age, and we have one age left to explore. And we're going to do that in the next episode. So, uh, thank you for watching. This has been Retro Gaming Now. As always, if you enjoyed, rate, comment, subscribe. I really like it when you guys do that sort of stuff. Helps me out a lot. And I'll talk to you guys later. Alright.